这次天宫一号和嫦娥 F 梯形火箭上，同样也和以前发射神舟飞船一样，装了工业摄像头，所以我们可以看到全程的一个过程。三十秒。脚前助推器分离，东风助推器分离，脚前一二级分离，东风一二级分离。现在是助推器分离，火箭一二级分离。Forty seconds to go. The final countdown to the liftoff. Thirty seconds to go. The four boosters strapped on the rocket. Now standing by to be ignited. Twenty seconds to go. Three, two, one. 
10, 9, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition. And we have a lift off. China's prototype Space Lab Tiangong 1, which was launched in 2011. But this is about 10 minute process for the rocket and the spacecraft to go through until they reach the orbit. This is what we're gonna see in the next 10 minutes. However, well, this is a view taken from the launch vehicle of the boosters and is ascending to the space. Radar tracking is still working well. That is getting higher. And now the separation of the boosters, the four boosters were let go. And the next uh, will be the second stage being separated. Now the second stage also come off. The second stage of the booster also come off. And next will be the separation of the pairing of the rocket. And there's still an optical image of uh, the launch vehicle in the spacecraft with the four boosters already separated and descending. Actually, is an infrared picture of the spacecraft. And on the right hand side now is the infrared picture of the spacecraft. And now it's turned to a picture of the simulated uh, map of the trajectory of. If there is slightly lower orbit, yes. So they're going to be traveling around a little faster, mm -hmm. and they'll be catching up with change So they, they will speed up a little bit. They, they will have to add a little additional velocity to raise their orbit up to the same altitude as change and then as they approach it, their relative, their relative velocity is very small. Mm. That's why they can rendezvous in docking. Now we have seen the solar panel unfolded. That means um, the spacecraft can use the, the solar energy to power itself. It has now power. Uh, does it need to adjust uh, the uh, position of the towards the sun? Yes. Uh, and can we tell it is in the sun or in the shadow or not from this picture? It's pretty bright. I think it has to be in the sun. Yeah, it's pretty bright, especially at the far end. So it seems. Approaching the target module. Shenzhou is being closely monitored by staff at the Aerospace Command and Control Center in Beijing. The spacecraft has already been put through several orbital changes previously. It is now finally in an autonomous state of control.
Then the moment comes. At 18 minutes past one in the afternoon, Beijing time, Shenzhou meets Tiangong Wan. The docking rover. The next stage of the mission begins. Astronauts open the door of the space module and load in. This is the model of the Shenzhou 10 spacecraft. Well, this one, the Tiangong One space module. After the docking, the three astronauts will enter the module to carry out scientific studies, technical tests, and some maintenance operations of the module. All these efforts will lay the technical foundation for the construction of China's space station, which the country is planning to build in 2020. This is the fifth time a spacecraft has docked with the Edmund Space Lab since it was sent to space two years ago. The three astronauts will stay in space for two weeks, the longest space trip of the country so far.
I believe this is a infrared picture of the spacecraft. And this time the ground uh, has many tools to keep track of the spacecraft. Uh, they have optical camera, they have radio communication, uh, and also infrared cameras to keep track of the spacecraft coming back to the Earth. And this should be the infrared picture yes. uh, taken of the spacecraft. It's on the Explain to us why the landing on the sea is maybe the reduced the impact force that you are. Parachute deploy is to reduce the speed of the spacecraft when it's about to land. Yes. Uh, how how high is it? The main chute also deployed. How high is this? Is it that the, the, the smaller uh, parachute? Uh, I mean, it's open at uh, about uh, deploy at the about uh, ten. Ten. Kilo, uh, 10, 10 kilometers, kilometers above the earth. Above the earth. Mm. And then the main uh, parachutes. Mm. Well, you're now watching a special coverage on Shindo's return mm. mission. Uh, about 20 minutes ago, it has already detached from its orbiting module and then decelerate and enter its trajectory back to the Earth. It's been a while, it landed. We have seen the picture. Uh, uh, oh, already landed. A of dust has been produced. Uh, this yeah. is Vice Premier Zhang so Li. Three Chinese astronauts are back safely on Earth after a two-week mission to an experimental space laboratory, the Tiangong-1, or Heavenly Palace. The capsule of the Shenzhou spacecraft re-entered the Earth's atmosphere and touched down at a remote site in northern China's Inner Mongolia region. The event was broadcast live on Chinese state television. It explained how the astronauts needed time to adjust to gravity before emerging from the capsule. This was the country's fifth human space mission and came ten years after the first. During the mission, the spacecraft carried out successful dockings with the Heavenly Palace. China, which still lags behind space superpowers, the US and Russia, eventually wants to establish a permanently manned space station.